What's your favorite scary movie? I couldn't think of no other intro. I'm sorry. Going on my Scream fans, hope you guys are having an amazing weekend because Scream 6 is officially in theaters right now for you guys to watch, enjoy, and just take it all in. We did it last year. Another Scream movie means another Scream ranking video. So I'm just like, why not just rank all the Scream movies again, even though I think my list isn't really going to change. But this because my throat is killing me. Okay. Okay, now back to the video. Scream 6 is officially in theaters right now, so that means we gotta rank up where this movie fits into all the other six Scream movies. So let's see where we're at all. Let's rank all six Scream movies, starting with number six, bottom tier. It's this one. Maybe, but there's never been one like me, Gail. Number six for me is definitely still going to be Scream 3, still a bottom of the barrel. Even though it's like, Scream 6 helped me appreciate all the Scream movies, but still, looking back at the ball, I'm just like, Scream 3, still on the bottom. What was the plot of that movie? It was like, oh uh, yeah, yeah, I know it was uh, Roman, Sydney's half-brother. He, his motive was, oh, because I'm the child that your mother just like abandoned and shit. That's why I want to kill you. That's why I'm doing all this shit. I, I know it was like the most kind of forgettable. I know people love this movie. So if you love Scream 3, then put it higher on your list. But for me, definitely low end of the tier total for me. Here's number five. Maybe, but there's never been one like me, Gail. Five for me. What's number five? I think I'm going to put Scream 5. Four, number five. Scream four. Scream four, number five. Because what was coming from out of that one? It was uh, Sydney's cousin. Her cousin, I think. Doesn't remember her motive was, because it was, it was somebody else, but her motive was like, I want to be the new Sydney Prescott. I want all the focus to be on me and shit like that. So that's why I'm killing folks. That's why I'm batshit crazy. I'm trying to judge all these movies just off of the killer motive. This is what comes off of my head because I'm just freestyling it. And I think that's Scream four. Came out 2011. It was like a re like revitalization of the franchise. So I thought it did good in that aspect, bring about the looks, the characters, stuff. I thought, I thought it was cool in that. Now after seeing like two screen movies after this, I'm just like, oh yeah, well no, nope, this still kind of low tier. Screen four is number five. So what's number four? It's this one. Maybe, but there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> four for me. Hmm. Number four. Let's make it. Let's make it screen five. That's number four. Scream five, four, five is confusing shit. Movie literally came out last year, and now I'm like, yeah, this is this is this is it. Number four on the list. I do like how it introduced some new characters to the franchise that we're kind of growing with, kind of liking everything like that. Will they make a Scream Seven? I I don't. I would like to see them get their trilogy, just like Sydney got her trilogy, and then some. I do like Wednesday Adams and Samantha. I, I thought they're really good. Plus, Samantha is hot. She's so hot. Put her in one more movie, please. One more movie. Killer motivation in that movie was still kind of like, ah, I just want to... It was, it was kind of stupid, too. I feel like only Billy Loomis and Stu Monker kind of had, like, the best killer motives in this entire franchise for me. Because it was just like, it's just kind of simple and pure. Just blame it on the movies. It worked back in the 90s. Everything else now just seems like a lesser version of that. But anyway, Scream 5 is number 4. So here's number 3. Maybe... But there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> three for me is definitely, let's make it Scream 2. That's going to be number three. Scream 2, 3, just, just give you, I told you, Scream 2. Scream 2 pretty much is just like, oh yeah, let's just make, uh, uh, just take the characters from the first movie, put them in college, stuff like that, and it does make the body count bigger, but never like even more crazier. I don't remember, there are a lot of scenes that stand out in my head with Scream 2. In the killer's motive, the revenge tale that was pretty much done again in Scream Six. Still good ish. Like I said, I think Scream Two did it better than Scream Six as far as the revenge thing goes, because maybe Scream Six did it first, so No, Scream Two did it first. I'm saying Scream so many times I can't get it right. But anyway, I'm gonna say Scream Two, definitely number three on the list. So what are the top two Scream movies? There's only two left, so here it is. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Number two for me is going to be Scream 6. There you go. I'm saying this because it's fresh off of my head. I just seen it. And now I'm like, 
This is definitely the second best screen movie in my opinion. I know it's the one that doesn't have Sydney Prescott at all, but I think it worked without Sydney because I feel like Tara and Samantha, they really carried this franchise. They're carrying the movie strong. Very likable. Sam is a very tough girl and hot. Final girl material, I love her. Plus, the kills in the movie were so much more brutal. There was no other kills in the entire franchise that top Scream 6. When you see it, you're gonna be like, yeah, this is top tier kills in this franchise, Scream 6. Ghostface was much more brutal. He's the most brutal or terrifying he's ever been. Switching the franchise to New York, super good idea. So many different set pieces they could use. It was a good idea. I like I said, a couple of weak link cracks in Scream 6, but that's like you said about all the Scream movies except the original. But that's why I'm saying that Scream 6 definitely second best. So what's the f top tier? There's only one. Maybe, but there's never been one like me, Gail. <laughs> Number one for me, Seeley gonna still be the original Scream. Nothing's beating that. That's the original Scream, Wes Craven's masterpiece Picasso. It was the first movie that pretty much just like, is a, it was a horror movie where horror movies existed. That I never been done before and I loved it. Introduced the world to a horror icon, Ghostface, and that horror, like it made people scared to answer the phone. A movie did that. Scream started that. Scream started the franchise that we are still watching like what, 20, Five, six years later, shit. Sydney Prescott, Gail Weathers, Dewey Riley are three core main final people, sort of, kind of. We love them. They've been this franchise for almost a dec two decades and a half. Kills were original. They're good. They're great. The killer's motives, understandable, relatable, very terrifying, because I'm like, that shit could happen to anybody in real life. Scream 1 did that. But that's why nothing stopping the original Scream. So that's why Scream 1 is still the best out of the franchise. But Scream 6 is officially in theaters now. But you got to check out and enjoy the movie. Tell me what you thought. What's your ranking of the Scream movie? Whatever it is, type below. Let me know. Let's talk about it. As always, subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>